Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about the random tick range because I often get asked how long can you make a sugarcane farm, for example. In most cases, the limiting factor is how far away does sugarcane get affected by the random ticks. So if you look around, I planted a lot of carrots, of course in survival, and we're just going to turn the random tick speed up really high and we can see that not all of those will grow. So as you can see, there is a range at which yeah, the carrots are still affected by the growth and further away they won't grow. And yeah, if we keep this running a little bit, you can also see that it's actually chunk based. So there's sharp corners, it's not like a perfect circle around the player. So the way it works, if the center of the chunk is less than 128 blocks away from the position or the center of the player, then a chunk gets random ticked and depending on where I stand on the chunk this could actually be more or fewer chunks. So I flew up a couple hundred blocks and here you can see the result now. The shape is not symmetrical so I was standing pretty close to the center of the chunk actually. So if you go back down again I was standing, this is the center of the chunk, I was standing just slightly offset to it and we got yeah, chunks poking out on this side. Okay, now we want to know how many chunks were affected by the random ticks. And I'm just going to remove the carrots with a command. And then we got yeah, this amount of items. So I'm just going to take my calculator real quick and divide by 256 because 16 by 16 chunks. And that tells us 195 chunks were affected by the random ticks. Okay, so now I used a teleport command to stand exactly in the center of the chunk. So in the center of those four blocks here at 8 Eight. And now we're going to do the test again. So what would we expect if we actually get more or fewer chunks? By the way, the only thing that is important when it comes to those distances is the horizontal distance. So the Y value of the player does not affect the result at all. So you can stand hundreds of blocks above and you would still random tick those chunks. So only the horizontal distance is important. Okay, so I think pretty much everything has grown. Yeah, if you fly up, you can also see that it is now symmetrical if you stand exactly in the center of the chunk. But if we remove the carrots again, yeah, you can see that we actually got fewer blocks. 49,408. That's 193 chunks. So two chunks less if you stand exactly in the center of the chunk. Alright, so if you want to make the biggest possible sugarcane farm or yeah, there's also other blocks that are affected by random ticks, for example, bamboo or other crops that would grow, then the budding amethyst would be affected or those crystals only grow if they're within a random tick range. Um, cauldron only gets filled by random ticks, snow and ice forming. Also, zombie pigmen get spawned um, yeah, inside of the nether portals based on random ticks or, for example, copper aging. So in case you want to make the biggest possible farm, then of course you want as many random tick chunks as possible. Okay, so we had one result where we were slightly offset the center, got a couple more. When, when we are exactly in the center, we got fewer. Okay, now we go to the other extreme, we're going to stand at the corner of the chunk. So you can here see the chunk lines. So if you stand at the corner of the chunk, the middle of the block already tested this so you don't need to stand exactly in the center for chunks it's actually enough if you stand here and this way you actually get more chunks that are getting random ticked okay so let's just do the test again okay so the result again is symmetrical okay now let's remove the carrots and we get 53,248 blocks removed so that's actually 208 chunks that are getting random ticked it's way more than standing in the middle of the chunk. So 15 more chunks compared to the 193 we get while standing in the center of the chunk. Okay, so this has practical implications. In case you want to be as lag friendly as possible, for example, you could also always stand exactly in the center of the chunk. So this way you would reduce the amount of random tick lag. Of course, it's not really significant. But in case you want to make the biggest possible farm, then the AFK position of the player should be in the corner of a chunk. Now I also want to answer the question, how long can you make your sugarcane farm or other random tick based growth farm is usually using a flying machine. Because for the flying machine, it usually doesn't matter if it runs a single chunk or runs all the distance. 
Um, so the longer you make your farm, the less effort it is actually to build it. Bit of a logical fallacy. I always get those comments for some reason from people, I'm not sure how to say this nicely, that are not good with logic. For example, they tell me it's less effort to make a bamboo farm where you have a piston each harvesting the bamboo. Of course, if you go really small scale, that is true. But in case you want a good amount of bamboo, it's less effort for sure if you just make a flying machine based farm that covers a very long distance. Alright, so the answer is actually you got 256 blocks in a row that would be affected by the random tick. Of course, the width also plays a role and that's 6 chunks. So we can also take a look at that real quick. So if we stand really at the corner block here, we got 3 chunks to this side and three chunks um, towards this side. Then you got yeah, eight chunks uh, towards this side, and including this one, also eight towards this. So you got a 256 by 96 area to work with. Of course, you could also um, make the farm a bit shorter, but wider. So you would have like two extra chunks here. So you could make a 12, sorry, 10 by 14 chunk farm as well. Okay, there's one more thing of interest. So for now, we've been assuming that the position of the player doesn't change, which is perfectly fine for an automated crop farm. But there's also other random tick based farms that require the player to do stuff and move around. What comes to mind would be, for example, a farm where cauldrons are getting filled with snow and the player is riding around in a minecart emptying those cauldrons with a bucket. And if the position changes, it's kind of interest. What is actually the area where the player can move around freely while all of the you know, chunks um, are still affected by the random ticks? And it's actually a 6x6 six six chunk area. So if you look at this, if you stand in the corner of this chunk here, the random ticks would also affect this corner of the 6x6 six six chunk area. And vice versa, if you stand in the corner of this chunk, also, the chunk over there is still affected by the random ticks. So, for example, if you make a powder snow farm, then 96 by 96 blocks would be a good choice. No matter where you are in this area, then all chunks affected by the random ticks. Alright, so I hope this video was useful for you guys. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.